I'm Lawson Boutros, coming live from SBC, here with Oscar Griffin, Jack Sullivan, and Grant Truitt. Today, we will be discussing the heated topic. Is, is Bronny worth drafting? I'll start us off. I think that Bronny is completely worth a draft pick because think about this. Between the Lakers, LeBron wants to play with Bronny. Bronny does not want to play with LeBron. So what the whoever drafts him could really manage is trading him to the Lakers and getting something good out of that or getting LeBron from the Lakers and giving up something else to the Lakers, which I think would be a really good decision. I think it was a really bad decision by Bronny to come out of college at this age with the kind of season that he had, but I think he definitely has potential. And if he could get developed uh, under like a veteran starter, especially like someone like his dad, I think that he could really have potential and be a good NBA player. Jack? I'm gonna play off Oscar a little bit. I don't think that uh, Bronny is worth drafting at this stage in his life. I think, I'm gonna like Oscar, I think that he should have waited a little bit before he decided to jump into the draft. But also, like, he's averaging 12 points a game, a freshman in D1, 12 points. Not even. Not great, yeah, not even, even he's not even averaging that. His vertical isn't great for a guy who, you know, is supposed to be taller, not too tall. Vertical but for, doesn't matter when you play point guard. Doesn't matter. He's, he's supposed to be a great defender. He can dunk. So? Your vertical does not matter when you're a point we guard. Are talking, if you're a center, we are talking you're about, a tip. We are talking about his defense right now. His defense is it's being hyped up right now. It's not what it is. It's not what he's hyped up to be, and he's not as good as he's hyped up to be. Um... You know, I, I do think that if he had played maybe two more years in college, I think that he would have developed enough to be a mid-second round. Maybe if he developed a lot, you know, with his heart issue, that he would have, you know, jumped higher up in the draft. But right now, I just don't see it. At the same time, though, like, development, I'm sure, is not great at USC's basketball school. Definitely not. He doesn't have a veteran to learn under there anyway, so it actually might have been a better decision to transfer, but maybe we'll support his decision to come to the NBA. Grant, yeah, I, what do you think about this? I'm going to have to say, no, Bronny should not be drafted because his offense is horrible. Like, his def and his defense over there, it's not good. It's not that great. Like, he's not as good as LeBron. He wouldn't be even, like, in college playing D1 at USC if he wasn't LeBron's son. That's what a lot of people like, say. I agree with that. I think he should be D2. I don't know how good of a team he would be on in D2, but he would be in a D2 school. When people say that he should be in a D2 school, there's, there's no way that's true. I'm just saying, if you can score points and be a starter, USC is a Power 5 school. Like like I said, they're not known for basketball, but they are known for sports. Exactly. If you can score points, he's not even averaging 12 points, and he's a point guard. He's averaging like four points. Yes, but at the same time, if he is such a defensive leader, then that would that would explain why his coach is putting well, him in. Not he's, a he's, not, leader, though. he's not as good as he's hyped up to be. I, he, he has like zero steals a game, bro. He probably has, he's probably averaging like yes, but I'm sure he's a great defensive presence, that's, and that's why he's being put in, and that's why he does have minutes. That's that, no. that, let's break this up for a second, and we this is really heated. I think we should change it to a different topic, another very could be heated topic. Will the Cowboys win their division? We all know that there's the curse. Fun fact. No team has won the NFC East two years in a row since 2004. So, what do you guys think, Oscar? Yeah, I think that curse is going to keep on going. I don't see the Cowboys winning their division this year. I could see the Cowboys making the playoffs at 9-8, and 10-7. and seven, But I think the Eagles this year with Saquon Barkley will be an unstoppable force. Grant? And I think with the way that most of the NFC is playing right now, Really, the only two scary teams in the NFC are the Eagles and the 49ers next year, in my opinion. I think the Cowboys will win a couple games. Also, one underrated team is the Giants with Daniel Jones. Oh my but God. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, the Giants, the Giants and the, um, the Washington Commanders have pretty much no chance of winning, especially the Washington Commanders. We can always rule them out. But I think the biggest contenders here will be the Eagles. You know, losing Jason, uh, lo losing Jason Kelsey is never good. But, you know, let's see what Grant has to say. 
I'm gonna say yes, the Cowboys will win their division because the Commanders, okay, we're, we're gonna rule them out. We all know that they're terrible. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, it's a very heated topic. Will the Cowboys win their division? We're coming live from SPC.